Hello, in this lecture we're going to continue on our master budget and we will be working on the direct labor budget at this time. So remember what we have done so far, we have to start off in this way. We did the sales budget in order to know what we're going to sell. We have to, we sell. <laughs> we have to do that first. First, a word from our sponsor. Yeah, actually we're sponsoring ourselves on this one because apparently the merchandisers, they don't want to be seen with us. But, but that's okay, whatever because our merchandise is, is better than their stupid stuff anyways. Like this CPA thinking cap, for example. CPA thinking CAP, you see what we did with like with the letters? And this CPA thinking cap is not just for CPAs either. Anyone can and should have at least one, possibly multiple CPA thinking caps. Why? Because based on our scientific survey of five people, all of whom directly profit from the sale of these CPA thinking caps, wearing this CPA thinking cap without a doubt, according to the survey, increases accounting productivity tenfold. Yeah, at least. Yeah, apparently the hat actually channels like accounting energy from the quantum field ether directly into your head, allowing you to navigate spreadsheets faster. It's kind of like how in like the Matrix when Neo learns Kung Fu, or at least that's what the scientific survey's saying. So get one, because the scientific survey participants could really use some extra cash. If you would like a commercial free experience, consider subscribing to our website at accountinginstruction.com or accountinginstruction.thinkific.com. And then we did the production budget in, term in terms of how much uh, units we're going to need to produce based on the sales budget then we did the raw materials budget we need to do uh, these two budgets the production budget before we do the raw materials budget and now we're going to work on the direct labor uh, budget notice 